was that a par by any chance? I haven't been here for 28 years. This used to be uh, an old stomping ground when, uh, when I was a young man. It's considerably better when the wind isn't blowing. I think I played better than this 28 years ago. <laughs> um, do you know what? I, I haven't written a scored card up yet. I'll do it when I do the editing. And I have no idea what I'm on at the moment. It's an awful lot. What, I've played nine and I've, I've got to be 10 over par. Maybe even 11, I haven't a clue. Oh well, we've got a number 10 market post and we're back into the wind now. Let's see if I can get my shit together and have a decent back line. 235 to the green, 173 oak to carry the ditch. I've got a three wood. I hope I can make it. about 40 yards here. Wasn't too sure what club to take. In the end, I went with a six iron, would you believe? Been a while since I've hit a six iron chip and run. And it was pretty tidy too. And if you're wondering what these kites are and the other things you see around the greens, it's to keep the seagulls away. More than happy with a par 4 there, I can assure you, off a drive that only went 205. Number 11, a short hole, down the wind, and I hit a bad one. It seems like the wind kind of knocked it out of the sky, it did not go very far at all. Unfortunately it was in the right rough, and uh, it's pretty juicy this stuff. So I don't get it up to the green at all. Little Samwares chip. Nothing too difficult about this. Didn't quite run out as far as I wanted. But a straightforward par putt. Nice view. This is what tends to happen when you come from a slow slow greens to faster greens first of all you start knocking it way past and then you start leaving it short now this is probably one of the better drives of the back nine I only managed to hit it about 230 with all this wind but it was a really good drive Chosen eight iron here. You can't see much of the green from this shot. And I seem to catch it very fluffy, so I'm quite disappointed by the contact with the golf ball. But then when I get up to the green, it's fine. Got a straightforward birdie putt. Look at that flag going. And again, under hit. This, see, this is what happens when you keep changing green speed. 13, had a very, very long wait here. The couple in front, they were in that heavy rough down the left. They got no rear view mirror. They did not once turn around and acknowledge I was waiting. Wind's off the right, fired it down the right, and it stayed down the right. It did not come back at all. And I was very surprised to find this ball. It missed the hedge, missed the ditch, 
I'm actually in play, although it's sat right down. All I'm trying to do is bludgeon this forwards with a six iron. Well, I get it out, but... Hmm. Now, I promise you, there is a golf ball in this picture. You just cannot see it. There's the kite flying around. Keep the seagulls away. And this came out much easier than I thought it would. So I've gone way, way past. Go on, hit the damn thing. Do you do this? Do you go to a golf course which has got faster greens and you start off by hitting them too hard and then you finish by hitting them too soft? This for bogey. It doesn't show very well from this camera position, but that did drop in the back door. Number 14, this is the high tee that's shared with the eights. I had a long wait, waiting for the fairway to clear. I gave this one the berries. Yeah, probably this is the best driver in the back nine. This is absolutely laced down there. I think I may have even gone through the people in front. Because I've only finished about 25 yards short of the green. So a little 9-iron chip and run. I read this as about 12 feet off the right. And it didn't actually start swinging till it got on the green. But it just didn't stay on the green. Here we are, we finished up right behind the flag more or less. But, you know, you've got a birdie putt. Get the job done, Si. And almost, almost... So many of my putts today were very, very close. Oh, par. I haven't had a par on the card for a little while. Now we go to 15. Got a long, long walk back to the 15th tee and we are right into the teeth of it. I'm trying to hit a low one here and I just... Uh, well, it pops up to its normal height, which means it's going nowhere. Left myself 168. Wind hard off the left. I mean, four clubs of wind off the left, as you can see. Camera's rocking about. Going with the four iron. I'm ending, aiming at the left bunker, and the idea is that the wind is going to blow the ball to the right and into the heart of the green. And it doesn't. It just goes straight into the left bunker where I was aiming. Oh dear, never mind. Here we go again, long bunker shot. Get it out reasonably well. I was expecting um, a better contact with the ball there, but um, took too much sand. That's okay, We've got a reasonable par putt. Well, it would have been a reasonable par putt if I'd hit it. But with all the waiting, I'm starting to lose interest in this round of golf. Right, 16th and the 17th share the same tee box. I've taken a four iron here down to this lower green. Wind did not blow it back again. I ran up a big mound and ran back down again. This looks awkward, but it's actually fairly straightforward. It's just a little open face sand wedge. Pop it up. I was expecting it to uh, stop by the flag and it just ran out. So another putt for par. Well, I suppose I got it past the hole for a change. And another bogue. Back up the hill. Onto the 17th tee. Wind hard off the right and I pulled it. And I thought this had gone. Fortunately it was long enough. It carried the corner. Finished up in this rough. 
75, I thought, I didn't know how to cope with the wind, so I thought a nice little punchy pitching wedge, keep the ball low, and it just flew. And it flew, and it flew. Um, just did a bunt down, back down the hill here with a 9-9. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, it's a good job this is muted because you would not want to know what I'm saying right now about the pace of play, etc., etc. I'm sure you've had those days where all you do is wait and wait and wait and wait and then inevitably rush as I am here. I mean, I haven't even looked at this, but <laughs> such was my interest in the golf. All I wanted to do was get off. Which is a bit sad, really, because Ilfracoom is a lovely golf course. You know, I've played this on a summer's day, not a cloud in the sky, no wind, and it is a wonderful place to be, I can assure you. <laughs> 